So here we go, this is what we're trying to get out. We have one alloy seat post, probably about 200mm of seat post in there, in a 1993 GT Richter 8 frame. And our friend today is Caustic Soda. Now, first time attempt on this one. We have the water in the bottle. So, with all due safety precautions, let's give this a go. Aiming to mix this at about a two to one ratio, I think. Two parts of water to one part of soda. Mm. Seemingly fairly safe so far. Warming up a little bit. I'm guessing I should probably give it a bit of a shake before I put it in the tube. You mix this up and you have to shake it, right? Yep, that's definitely warming up quite a lot. I'm going to get it into the seat tube. Oof! Before it burns my hands, hopefully. Oof, that smells quite strongly. Well, none's come straight out of the bottom bracket yet, which is a good sign. I'm hoping I've sealed it well enough with the inner tube. And <coughs> that should be hydrogen coming off there for you chemists. Uh, I should have brought out a little flame and we could have tested it with definitely hydrogen. The caustic soda's also melted the bottle enough that I can't sit it down. Right, let's add a bit more of that. Oh, this is getting hot. I'll tell you what, that's some pretty nice fumes. Oof. And if you're getting the sound on that. Well, I think we can definitely say something's hap some chemical reaction is happening in there. And this is where we pray the caustic soda hasn't found a hole in the gloves. In theory, I was keeping it controlled so we wouldn't get too much spit out the top. It does look much more impressive when you get a bit of spitting out the top. So, let's try and keep it topped up. And sure, that's probably not good for the paintwork, but as you can probably guess, Fully intending there to be a new paint job on this, should this frame be resurrected. Obviously pouring it in slowly and carefully. Making sure not to kill me and Jamie in the process. Something's fizzing away going, eh? 
You're videoing now, or? Yeah, I'm just filming the bubbles. Yeah, cool. And the noxious fumes. They're not noxious, they're just highly flammable, slash explosive. That's oh, alright. two left in the cupboard. That's one down now. And that's come up. <laughs> Spitting on my camera. Right, so on to our second thing of caustic soda now. We've dissolved most of it, but here's a bit of proof for you. Just to, if you're doubting the chemistry behind this, hydrogen gas coming off there, and I'll prove it to you. There you go, if you didn't see that, give it a chance to get a bit more gas. Flammable, but not enough to be dangerous. There you go. So here we go. One mixture eight three with zero aluminium whatsoever. I'm not sure how well you can see down into the darkness of that tube, but I can. Uh, I'll try and get some focus. I can guarantee you, there's not a drop of aluminium to be seen in there. Paint works looking a bit tatty, as would be expected, but that's all got to come off. Overall, successful job. Onwards and upwards, powder coaters, here we come. <laughs>